a section of Kalenjin and Kiko elders in the Rift Valley now claim President Uaru Kenyatta is frustrating his deputy William Ruto through elaborate state machinery. The elders spoke as Ruto's allies began to take the war to Kenyatta's doorstep and to undo changes in at least two county assemblies that had the blessings of the president. The tension in Jubilee is likely to explode, with reports that the president is planning a grand house cleaning that may see some of Ruto's men kicked out from leadership in the party and parliament. Speaking to the star, patron of the Kiko Council of Elders in the Rift Valley Gilbert Cabbage and the Kalenjin Mayot Council of Elders Chairman retired Bishop Paul Lalto claimed Uru was frustrating Ruto through proxies. They said Uru's studious silence while his lieutenants were attacking the DP was a clear indication that he endorsed the attacks. Cabbage challenged Uru to come clear if he was no longer interested in honoring the 2013 succession deal with Ruto instead of humiliating him. What Uaru is doing to the DP belongs to an uncivilized generation. We have seen tribal clashes in 1992, 1997 and a bad one in 2007-8. We want to speak to the powers that be that we will not be taken in that direction again, he said. The DP's critics have always said his troops were using threats of violence in his Rift Valley turf to coerce the Kikka community to back his presidential bid. If Uaru wants to form a coalition with Rayla, they can do without all this drama and humiliation of the DP and his allies. Kenyans will decide who will lead them when the time comes, Cabbage said. He said were it not for Ruto who campaigned vigorously for Jubilee Party across the country, Uaru would not be the president. Uaru should think twice of the handshake that took place at Afreha Stadium, Nakuru County, and the pledges he made. He made those pledges in the presence of a multitude and we will stand by that, he said. But in a rejoinder, Kiko Council of Elders Chairman Wakira Kayago termed the statement as reckless and irresponsible. Uaru is always talking about uniting Kenya. How then is it that some people are saying he is pitting two communities against each other? He posed. It is very unfortunate that such statements could come from elders. There are a number of issues facing the country at the moment that the elders can focus on, he added. The DP has himself publicly claimed that the system has been weaponized to ruin his presidential run in 2022. He has been missing in action as Kenyatta battles to contain the COVID-19 pandemic that has sank the Kenyan economy to its knees. Lately, however, Ruto has taken to social media, quoting select Bible verses that seem to be sending coded messages to his detractors. Though an army encamp against me, my heart shall not fear, though war arise against me, yet I will be confident, he tweeted on Sunday.